Hey there folks, Tim Slate here from the eLearning Designers Academy. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create mockups that you can use to showcase your work in your eLearning and instructional design portfolios. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, trust me, after watching this video, you will love mockups as much as I do. So stay tuned. So when I've talked about the importance of why you need an e-learning or instructional design portfolio, I've explained that it's to help potential employers and clients evaluate whether or not you have the skills they're seeking. And because of this, you want to make sure your portfolio helps you put your best foot forward. Now, if you've spent any amount of time perusing the portfolios of others within our industry, including my own portfolio, uh, you've likely stumbled across images that look something like this or this, or even this. And if you've seen images like these in other people's portfolios, you've probably wondered how the heck do they create these really cool, high quality, lifelike images? Now, before you ask, or just in case you're wondering, no, none of these images are actually real. There are what's called mockups in the graphic design and branding industry. And they're essentially an image of a scene, which may be comprised of one or more digital devices or other physical objects where you can actually superimpose your own images, text, logos, or other designs onto the screens or whatever else is being presented in the image. Now, what I like about using mockups for your e-learning or instructional design portfolio is that they add an extra level of polish to your work. Rather than just a screenshot, a good mock-up can help the, the people who are viewing your portfolio see how your course might look like in the wild on a real device. So at this point, you might be thinking, well, gosh, that sounds so cool, Tim, but I don't have the graphic design skills to create mock-ups like that from scratch, right? Well, yeah, you're, you're right. You probably don't have the skills, and frankly, neither do I. But the good news is, is that you don't need to create them from scratch, and it doesn't take a whole lot of skill to create mockups. So let me show you two options for creating mockups for your e-learning or instructional design portfolio. Now, the first option is to use Photoshop if you have access to it. Now, all you have to do is use one of the various websites that offer mockup files that you can download and edit directly in Photoshop. Now, there's a ton of different websites that offer all sorts of Photoshop mockup files, many of which are completely free. And I'll put a link down in the description for where you can find those. Now, personally, I like to use a service called Invato Elements to source all of the mockups I use. And it's a subscription based service which costs less than 20 bucks per month, and you get unlimited access to literally millions and millions of different graphic assets, including stock photos, illustrations, presentation templates, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. And as an e learning designer, I use it almost on a daily basis. And of course, part of what they offer are a boatload of different computer, laptop, tablet, and other mobile device mockups, which you can download and open in Photoshop. Now, once you've downloaded and opened a mockup that you'd like, yeah, you don't have to be a Photoshop expert to create your mockup. Most of these files have a dedicated layer that will say, place your image here or something similar. So if you're creating a mockup of an e-learning course, all you have to do is take a screenshot, open the placeholder layer in Photoshop and paste it in. Then you can export that out of Photoshop as a JPEG or a PNG image file and you're done. It's pretty simple. Now, while we're here talking about uh, mockup files that you can edit in Photoshop, I'll also mention that you can also find mockup files of all sorts of other things beyond computers and other digital devices. So let's say you wanted to showcase a job aid you created for a project or a slide for an instructor led workshop. Well, there's a mockup file for stuff like that too. All right, so if you have Photoshop, that's the first option for creating mockups. But what if you don't have Photoshop? What other options are available for you? Well, luckily a lot. Now, just like there are a ton of different websites you can use to download editable mockup files in Photoshop, there are an equal number of low cost and sometimes free online tools you can use to create your own mockups. With most of them, all you have to do is pick an image, upload your screenshot, make the necessary adjustments, and you're done. You then have a mockup you can download and use to showcase your work in your e-learning or instructional design portfolio. 
Now I'll mention, if you like the quality of the downloadable mockups that I showed you from Envato Elements, they actually offer a service called Placeit by Envato, which again, costs less than 20 bucks per month, but you get access to all of the various downloadable mockup files, but instead of editing them in Photoshop, you can actually upload your image, adjust it, and create your mockup completely online. And of course, I'll put a link down in the description for where you can find many of these free and low cost online mockup tools. All right, so that's how you can create mockups for your e-learning or instructional design portfolio, which of course leads me to my question of the day. What other ways can you think of for using mockups like the ones I just showed you in e-learning or instructional design? And of course, what are some other free or low cost sources for finding and creating mockups? Share your thoughts, tips, questions by commenting below. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button below if you'd like to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about growing your e-learning career or building your e-learning or instructional design portfolio, make sure to check out the e-learning designers Academy at elearningacademy.io. My name is Tim Slade and until next time, I'll see you around.